I might be committed and there can be a spark, but ultimately I don't feel particularly emotionally connected to the individual. Hello, I am Dr. Todd Spencer, a professor in behavioral science at UVU. One of the age-old questions of mankind is, what is love? How do we understand the different components of love? Robert Sternberg introduced the triangular theory of love that helps us make sense of the core components of a healthy, happy relationship. The primary three components are intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy is defined as that emotional closeness that exists between romantic partners, whereas passion is going to be the romantic spark and charge, and commitment is going to be the sense of loyalty and devotion to that individual. Sternberg theorized that when all three of these components were active in a relationship, you had what he termed consummate love, which is sort of the ultimate goal of relationships. However, we know every relationship can look a little bit different. It's possible to have two of the aspects present while one's missing. For example, when you have passion and intimacy, you have what he termed as romantic love, right? Where there's excitement and there's emotional closeness, but there may not be a long-term commitment to the relationship. Additionally, if intimacy and commitment are present, it's what's termed companionate love, where I can feel emotionally connected to someone and I can be dedicated to the relationship, but I don't feel the fires of passion. And lastly, when passion and commitment are present, without intimacy, it's fatuous love. I might be committed and there can be a spark, but ultimately I don't feel particularly emotionally connected to the individual. Overall, in answering the question, what is love? One way to look at it is, what is the level of passion, intimacy, and commitment in a relationship? And as those things become present, you will know what love is. Mm -hmm.